Had a whole pile of gears and tracers and all kinds of stuff. And I bought a supercharger a long time ago. It had brand new bearings. Uh, looks like I got two or three different kinds of gears. But it looks like this one here is the one that's gonna it's gonna work with my shaft. This is a shaft that come out of that blower case down there. I'm gonna I think I've got it in here right. Uh, it rotates, can't really tell here, but it doesn't have bearings in it, but it does rotate. So I think I've probably got that right. I've got a, a left and a L and a U. Probably lower and upper because this uh, this thing goes on sideways on a 671 diesel. So I'm pretty sure I got that right. There's spline where they can only go on a shaft in one place. Could send this off to some blower people and have it set up, but Maybe I'll do that. Uh, I'll clean it up and get bearings first and see if I can do it. It shouldn't be that hard to do. And uh, but the main thing I want to see if I can get this shaft and everything in here and see if I can cut down this, uh, this case down here. Well, I got it all in here. I'm pretty sure that that's pretty close to where it should go. Uh, now my cover will fit over it. This, uh, this shaft here is bearing is supposed to slide off. You can tell the guy that modified it. It's really bad, but you know this all cut two inches, and I can have my machinist make me something to drive that pulley with. He's a pretty smart guy. Uh, maybe we're going to be able to make this work after all. Turned that pulley around and stuck it on it where this crummy piece here is on the shaft if I uh, put me something in here for vertical you know I'm like an inch off so and actually this if it's fitting on the shaft straight I just wouldn't make any difference this would actually this would actually work to hold the shaft as long as the pulley went on the on the shaft proper here, I shouldn't really have any problems. But uh, of course, this won't fit on the nose like this. But uh, we'll see. I'm gonna try to put this cover on it. And see what I yeah, I knocked my bearing out of here. That looks like it probably had some kind of a circlip or something here that. Was holding that seal in. And I kind of screwed it up, knocking it out. That's all right. I got it out. And uh, what I've got here is about oh, a quarter of an inch or so, because this shaft is hitting here on the inside of the the thing. So looks like I can turn out, you know, half an inch off of that that shaft there even taper it back or something like that and this will work. Well I took my shaft off of here. Uh, next thing is just to see if this is going to fit over the gears. I don't see why it should.
not quite hitting those gears, and I'm pretty sure those gears are on there. Just about as far as you're going to go. It's possible it might go on a little further, but I don't think so. or something like that but you can see it's these these fins inside of here I can grind these off looks like maybe this sight valve here might have something to do with it at any rate I can modify all of this and uh, it should clear those gears pretty well Looks like it fits perfectly, but I've, what I've done is knock my manifold back an inch and a half. I'll pull it all forward again and take one last look at it and see what I got. Uh. Well, I just assembled it again. I just stuck my bearing in here just to keep it straight. <coughs> keep this all parallel. Looks like I got about a quarter of an inch. I'm sure there's that's what I showed you on the inside and uh, we'll throw something vertical on it again but uh, I'm sure I'm going to have exactly the same thing it eyeball and looks like it's going to line up directly with the front of that pulley so it needs to be moved back in approximately two inches the same same width as this pulley as a matter of fact I'll measure it and see, but I'm pretty sure that's exactly where it needs to go. Ah, nothing changes here. I've got this lined up with the pulley where it needs to go. And it's exactly with the front of front of that uh, where that bearing is sticking out there, which doesn't really mean anything. But uh, what I'll do is mark this uh, pulley here and it's got a it's got to go in an eighth of an inch so I can mark this for the machinist and he can do his measurement from there <laughs> 